Okay, welcome back. Um, this is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is now question six, part B, from the um, June 2010 LXLC4 paper. Um, and this question here is about integration. And we have already in part A f had f of theta, which was this expression here, and we had to show that f of theta equals a half plus seven over two theta. 7 over 2 cosine 2 theta and now we are asked to integrate find the exact value of the integral between 0 and pi over 2 of theta times f theta so we already know what f theta is we already showed that in part a so now what we have to do is integrate between the limits of 0 and pi over 2 theta times f of theta so theta times a half plus 7 over 2 cosine 2 theta with respect to theta. So I have to integrate this expression. Now, here what we can see is I have um, a product of two separate functions. So I can use integration by parts um, to try to integrate this, but it's a bit messy the way this looks here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it up into two separate integrals, and then I'm going to deal with that one separately by itself just so it doesn't look so messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the bracket first, so I'll have theta over 2, I'll have theta and pi over 2, I'll have theta over 2 plus 7 over 2 theta, um, sorry, 7 over 2 cosine 2 theta. 7 theta over 2 cosine 2 theta, sorry. Okay, so that I'm going to integrate with respect to theta. So I've just expanded this bracket. And what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to take this separate, separately from that. So I'll have this is like theta, uh, 0 and pi over 2. The integral of that, um, so the integral of theta, of the integral of theta over 2 with respect to theta, okay, between those limits, plus the integral of, between the limits of pi over 2, 7 pi, uh, 7 theta over 2 cosine 2 theta. So 7 theta over 2 cosine 2 theta with respect to theta. So I'm going to integrate each of these separately. Now this one is not a big problem. To integrate this, you're going to get pi squared over 4, uh, and you can continue. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and integrate this one separately. So I'll take this one first and integrate this. Um, I'll, I'll leave the limits out, put the limits at the end. So I'll just take this, and I'll say 0, pi over 2. I'll leave the 7 over 2 on the outside, and I've got theta times cosine of 2 theta with respect to theta. So I'm going to, I'm going to concentrate on this part of it. Okay, I'm just going to focus on this part of it, and then I'm going to deal with the rest of it. All right, so now, as I said, this is now a product of two separate functions, which I can use integration by parts for. So I'm going to call one of them, one of those products u, and the other one I have to call it dv d theta in this case. We have theta as a variable here. So the u is going to be the one that breaks down easier to something simpler when you differentiate it, and of that, of course, is theta. When I differentiate this with respect to theta, I get 1. And the integral is the one that doesn't become simpler when you um, differentiate it. So I'm going to take cosine 2 theta, and I need to, for this one, I need to integrate it to give me um, you know, uh, the, the value of v. Now, when you integrate cosine of something, you get sine of something. Because the differential of sine of function gives you cosine of that same thing. So the, the, the integral is the reverse. So this is going to give me sine of 2 theta. But there's a function inside the function. So I have to divide it by 2. So this is like a half sine 2 theta. Okay, that's when you uh, integrate this. Now I'm going to use the, co the, the integration by parts. Okay, so the integral of theta cosine 2 theta with respect to theta 7 over 2. Okay, I'm going to forget the limits for now. I'll deal with the limits afterwards. Okay, that's going to give me now. To integrate this, you're going to do u times v, which is this times that. This, this formula is actually in your formula sheet. There's theta over 2 times sine of 2 theta minus the integral of these two multiplied. So it's got a half times. So I'll write the half outside. Sine of 2 theta with respect to theta. Now that's going to give me theta over 2 times sine 2 theta. Now when I integrate sine of something, I get negative cosine of the same thing. So I've got minus a half times negative cosine 2 theta. But I have to also multiply this by or divide this by, by 2. So it's minus a half cosine 2 theta. 
Um, I'm not going to write the plus C because I've got a definite integral in the end, so I'll just leave it like that for now. So this is theta over 2 sine 2 theta plus a quarter cosine 2 theta. All right, so that's the integral of this part of it. Okay, and then the integral of this part of it, okay, if I'll take uh, theta, over, uh, theta over 2 with respect to theta, theta over 2, integrate that with respect to theta, okay, which is this part of it, that's going to give me theta squared over 4. Theta squared over 4. So now let me put them together. So I can say that this together, let me just write it down. So I have the integral between pi over 2 and 0 of theta over 2 with respect to theta plus the integral between 0 and pi over 2 of um, 7 over 2 times. I'll leave the 7 over 2 out from here as well. Okay, put it in the end now. 7 over 2 times um, theta cosine the 2 theta d theta cosine 2 theta d theta is going to be the same as this is going to become, I'll just put it under one, uh, one bracket now. It's the same as um, this is going to be th theta squared over 4 plus, and I'll have 7 over 2 times the integral of all of this which was theta over 2 sine 2 theta plus a quarter cosine 2 theta. All of that between the limits of pi over 2 here and 0. So that's the whole thing integrated now with respect to theta. Now I have to find the value of this by putting pi over 2 into this. Okay, so I've got everything there I need, I think. Yep, so let me just put pi over 2 here. So here I'm going to have pi over 2 all squared divided by 4 plus 7 over 2 times I'm going to have pi over 2 divided by 2 which is pi over 4 times the sine of 2 theta so 2 times pi over 2 is going to give me pi plus a quarter cosine 2 times pi over 2 again is pi then I've got to take away the integral when I put this in here that will be 0 and I'll have plus 7 over 2 times, that's going to give me 0, because zero, time, 0 times anything is 0, plus a quarter cosine 2, cosine 0. Cosine 0 is 1, actually. Cosine 0 is 1. Okay, so now that's going to give me pi squared over 4 squared 16. And here I'm going to have plus 7 over 2 times. Now the sine of pi is 0, and the the quarter times uh, the cosine of pi is equal to minus 1, so that's minus a quarter, minus, and this is going to give me um, basically 0 plus 7 over, so 7 over, 7 over 8, cosine of 0, cosine of 0 is minus 1, cosine of 0 is minus 1, right? Yep. So cosine of 0 is 1, what am I talking about? Cosine of 0 is 1. Okay, sorry about that. Of course it's 1, it's up here. Okay, I don't know what brain freeze there. Okay, so that's going to be 1. So that's 7 over 2 times, 7 over 2 times a quarter, which is 7 over 8. Okay, so that's fine. So now I'm going to have, hopefully the answer, pi squared over 16, and I'm going to have minus 7 over 8, Okay, minus another 7 over 8. So I have pi squared over 16 minus 14 over 8. And that's the answer. Okay, which is the same as, in the simplest form, pi squared over 16 minus 7 over 4. In the simplest form. Okay, and there we have the answer in its simplest form. The final answer, pi squared over 16 minus 7 over 4. What happened there? Got rid of all of this. Okay, that's better. All right, so there's the final answer. Pi squared over 16 minus 7 over 4. And that's the answer to this question. So we had to use integration by parts to integrate this. But instead of making it all messy with this, I separated them out. And I then found the integral of... I, I started out doing 7 over 2. I, I kept the 7 over 2 to the end as well. Just keep it simple. 
Okay, so I found the integral of theta cosine 2 theta, which was this, and then I put them back, you know, in the form. So I've, I've got theta over 2 with respect to theta plus 7 over 2 times the answer that I just found there. All of that integrated between 0 and pi over 2, and I get my answer. So I hope that's clear. That's an example of integration by parts. This is a topic in P4, so this part of the, the you know, this um, question is going to go in P4. So I'll have the top part of the question here. This, the top playlist here will show the playlist for this exam, June 2010. The playlist underneath it down here is going to show the playlist for um, integration in um, P4. Integration, or maybe I'll have a, its own um, playlist for integration by parts. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.